What do I like about my work? Um, it's very varied and it's every day is different. One minute you could be making chocolate Easter eggs, then before you know it you're making Christmas cakes, Christmas puddings, uh, just the, the sheer variety of all the skills that you bring in. So that's the main thing I, that, I, that I enjoy. Keeping customers happy, smile on people's faces is uh, the best thing as well, best thing. Um, many years ago, my dad, when I was about 11 years old, my dad took me to uh, a military tattoo and in this big marquee was some food displayed and it was absolutely amazing, something that I'd never seen before and it's like, that's what I want to do and I can remember saying to my sister, that's what I want to do, but I thought I had to go in the army to do it. Then I, as I got older, I realised that my sort of like checked out with careers, um, I didn't have to go in the army to do it, but unfortunately my school advice is where it sort of let me down a little bit because they read up what you had to do for catering and they said you had to be tall, you had to be strong, dealing with heavy equipment. And the careers advisor told me to stand up, saw my height, told me to sit down and think of another career. Luckily enough, I didn't listen to her and I just carried on and I applied for catering college, my local catering college, and I joined there and went there for two years and loved every minute of it. And that was the start. Then I knew I wanted to move to London, work in London, big hotels, see all the glamorous functions, do all the, you know, all the exciting parties. Um, unfortunately, couldn't get into London straight away, so my job was more local in a country hotel. I loved that, but I was still yearning after two years, wanted to come to London, and I did that, and then I've been here nearly 38 years since then. And then I start, carried on, worked in the five-star hotels, um, really enjoyed that, lots of hard work. Then while I was in full-time work, I went back to college and I did um, an extra level three qualification. Um, went one day a week um, and was taught by uh, Professor John Hubert. Uh, loved every minute of that. Very hard work to do that on top of your work schedule as well and do all the work behind it, but worth every second, worth all of it. And continued on from there, various hotels, restaurants, fine dining, uh, working in city banks, so complete variation. That's another thing that's nice about the job. Hasn't just got to be hotels, hasn't just got to be restaurants. The variety of places where you need food is, is huge, as we all know. Starting out today, um, be prepared to work really hard and commit. And as the saying goes, you get out of your job what you put into it with anything. Uh, just focus on an area you want to go, listen to all the advice you can get, um, and just work really hard is the main thing, and be prepared for hard work, shifts, long hours, standing on your feet. But in all fairness, it does keep you quite fit. I do think we will get better after COVID. I think hospitality and kitchens will bounce back. Something I've noticed, especially with a lot of my ex-students, they're specialising, a big thing now is chocolate and buying uh, really good artisan chocolates, bars, everything. And this, a lot of this is done by ordering online. And that's, that seems to be very popular. So not, it's not just about basing yourself in a London kitchen. kitchen. It's about also who your customers are and knowing who, who to put out on the internet. So they found alternative ways to still keep in work and it may take them in a different, a different way. So maybe they will eventually open a shop or patisserie once they understand who their customers are. So I think it will still continue to grow. Um, something that's interesting that I've noticed in the few years, bakeries are growing. We get much more quality bakers from abroad, which are bringing in skills. So there's some really high quality, and I think we're still head in that right direction.